Hello there, friends. Today we're talking about hope in response to a question over on Patreon. Uh, now, you'll have to bear with me for a moment. I, if I look particularly scruffy today, I managed to break my razor, which is a tragedy. So I may get progressively less well kept uh, as videos over the course of the week go on. It is what it is. So the question was about hope and the traps that can arise around hope. So many of us get stuck in a sort of uh, situation where either we experience hopelessness or the moment we conceive of a better life experience, that immediately becomes the expectation. And if we fail to realize that expectation, then we experience disappointment. Um, so in that situation, it can feel like it's not worth it to be hopeful um, just because oh well every time I have hopes my hopes get dashed and that's a really unpleasant experience so why don't I just resign myself to some unfortunate miserable experience um, and that's no good so fortunately I can assure you there is a way out of this particular bind uh, it is sort of treading a narrow path it's very much the walking on a razor's edge experience. But the idea is to develop the ability to experience hope without forming expectations so that we can actually conceive of a positive future, but still be prepared to accept whatever future arises. And that begins with acceptance of the present experience, training oneself to continuously say, yes to whatever happens to be right now from a place of having accepted what's happening right now what takes care of me going into the future what action can i undertake right now accepting fully life as it is to set myself up to have a more positive experience in the future that is the starting point with so many of these practices here towards being a happy human being is you can't do anything about this moment all of the causes and conditions that go into forming this moment already happened there in the past we can influence future moments but we always 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 must accept the present moment and once you're there once you're established in that practice of acceptance then when you build up an optimistic viewpoint, these are all of the wonderful things that could happen, which is great and motivating in the now. And then life happens and things maybe don't turn out according to your most optimistic view of it. You're still ready in that moment to go, okay, hey, we did our best. Uh, you know, things didn't turn out as well as they could have, but they turned out in a way that I can live with. Um, or they turned out in a way that I can, at the very least, make peace with and begin moving towards something different, if it's less than pleasant. Um, so it's just being incredibly mindful that it's important to have a clear view of what is possible going forward. And it is important to spend time considering positive potential developments in the future right? so that we can find a place of motivation from looking at the paths forward that take care of us but not allowing this narrative to get started that if anything other than the best scenario that we hope for happens we have to experience disappointment so disappointment is really optional um, it doesn't feel that way when it's happening until you have a tremendous amount of training um, but it's absolutely an optional experience. There is enough plasticity in the human experience that you can experience hope for the future. Ah, good things can happen. My life can get better. It can get better day by day by day. And yet, when setbacks happen, be in a position to be able to accept that calmly, not go into that experience of despairing or disappointment, and just say, what is it that I need to do right now to take care of myself and keep moving in the direction of being a happy human being.